My name's Keith Gillespie. Subscribe to Ford Have Mercy on YouTube. What's going on, people? It's your boy, Fordy. I also go by the name of Ford Have Mercy, just in case you didn't know. I wasn't going to do this video, but I checked out my boy, Lee Lawless video over at Newcastle Fan TV. Make sure you check that one out as well. And it's Henri Save, or Saive, however you want to say his name. He apparently he's come out of the media and said that he had a horrible eight months here at the club. You know, he felt useless while he was here. And, he, you know, he's happy to be at Etienne now. Um, I just want to give my view on it as well. Like, first off, don't feel useless, mate. I mean, it's not your fault you was bought by Graham Carr off the back of a good football manager CV. Let's be honest with you. He was a converted winger, which we could have done with, to be honest, with this season as well. Um, and now you're playing in central midfield. He was there, he was dubbed, sorry, as the replacement for Chetiote, who wasn't moved on in January. But useless. I mean, obviously, you didn't have the best of starts or, you know, best of finishes, to be honest with you. Whilst you're at your your time here is at Newcastle United, and you're probably not going to come back if we're totally honest with you. But at the same time, horrible, useless. I mean, to be fair, mate, you're getting paid to be there as a footballer. See, I don't think these guys realise how lucky these guys are. If you come into the working class world that we live in, you know, where we're earning our money uh, to come see you guys as well play. Don't feel like you, you, you're being hard done by it. I mean, maybe I'm reading the article totally wrong here. But to see that type of, you know, sour grapes is all put in nicely on Twitter. You know, why? Why would you come out of that anyway? I mean, you're still employed technically by Newcastle. Well, not even technically. You are employed by Newcastle United. And probably some of your wages that you are getting played for paid for now is via Newcastle United because uh, let's face it you probably got a good payday coming to Newcastle you're only 20 what 25 I believe probably signed a five-year deal we know we're chucking these out like going out of fashion so don't buy the hand that's feeding you at the moment you know you yeah it might be a small possibility that you might come back to us anyway you might have a good um, spell in France, you know, you've already been named in the team of the week over there. So, again, I just don't like these guys spouting their mouth off, you know, before they've finally got out of the club. You know, I mean, he's still here technically as a Newcastle United player. He's still, you're just on loan for the season, you know. But um, I just thought I'd give my, my view on it because I think to myself, like, you guys are lucky to wear these shirts, you know, lucky. All of us watching this and all of us, you know, attending the games would give their arms, legs, noses, mouths, all of it to be playing one minute of football at St. James's Park. And then you guys, you know, not just saying you guys as foreigners, because that's what you're trying to say it. Foreigners weren't preferred and English players were preferred over you guys. We just want someone who gives heart because, again, plenty of foreigners have come over from all types of places. You know, Faustino Espira came over from Colombia. Um, Jonas Gutierrez came from Argentina and given their heart and soul for the club you know they might not have been the best players sometimes but they've given their heart and soul for the club and they, they truly understand what it, it is to play for Newcastle United I mean, I mean take myself for instance I'm not from Newcastle United uh, from Newcastle as you can tell but I truly believe and I buy into the mentality of people from here you know people earn an honest living up here and they come here to, or come to St. James' Park to watch you guys play. And it's truly appreciated by the fans that people who put in a shift and, and show willing, show heart, you know, after the games, you know, clap the pla clap, clap the fans, sorry, should I say, and, you know, give their heart and soul to on during that 90 minutes on the pitch. And then for someone like you to come out and say that, man, just truly makes my blood boil, basically. So I just thought... You know what, it's probably the best thing for you to not come back to the club if, if that's how you feel, man. If you felt useless, if you felt like you had a horrible eight months here at the club and you wasn't really willing to, to show your all. I mean, people might say, oh, you didn't get the fair rub of the green. But at the same time, you know what, it's up to you, man. You're a professional footballer. Things like that happen, man. Just got to suck it up. Anyway, that's my two cents on the story. As I said before, a more in-depth analysis you'll find online or via Newcastle Fan TV. Obviously, I don't want you to leave me all together, but I just thought I'd give my synopsis on the whole Henri Savé story about how he felt unwanted here at the club. As always, guys, you know, I say what's on my mind and how I feel. So take care of yourselves. I'll see you guys all very, very soon. Keep, well, take care of yourself, guys. And I'll see you guys all soon. Peace.